Ah, where to begin? Chloe, Nadine, a tense but electric partnership. India on the brink of civil war. A lost city and an ancient artifact just waiting to be discovered. The Lost Legacy started life as downloadable content for Uncharted 4, but along the way grew to become its own standalone title. And for better or worse, the DNA of Uncharted 4 still courses through this game. Only this time, you'll be playing as Chloe, a kick-ass treasure thief first introduced in Uncharted 2. She's searching for a lost artifact in the jungles of India, so she teams up with mercenary Nadine for some extra muscle. Chloe and Nadine have great chemistry together. They're funny, tense, and that antagonistic employee-employer relationship is just so much fun to watch. We'd be foolish to take unnecessary risks. We? Let's get one thing straight. This is my gig. You want your share? We? Play by my rules. Here we're able to see another side of two characters who have been, until now, somewhat misunderstood. Chloe isn't just a pillager either. Her Indian background means that the treasure she's hunting has a much more personal connection to her and one that runs deeper than mere heritage. Their motives are both seemingly selfish and thus their partnership is built on suspicion and the threat of betrayal. And yet they need one another in order to complete this job for their own reasons. It's really wonderful to watch this relationship develop over the course of the adventure. India provides such a beautiful backdrop for this journey, with dare I say it, some of the most stunning vistas and landscapes we've seen in this series to date. I mean, it is jaw on the floor, crazy beautiful. Thank goodness for photo mode. But as much as this game does right, it still can't escape the trappings of Uncharted 4. I mean, there are sequences in this title that are just lifted directly wholesale from Drake's last adventure. But that kind of makes sense given that this game began its life as DLC. After the game's thrilling opening hour, our heroes find themselves in a jeep in a wide open area. Its vast mountains and rivers laid out before us in gorgeous detail, so breathtaking as I thought to myself, <gasps> Didn't I just play this in Uncharted 4? Yes, yes I did. And while this area is a little more Indian and the characters are a little more female and the whole thing is a little more open world, it still feels as though I accidentally loaded a checkpoint from 12 months ago. And this happens the entire game. Even the game's thrilling finale is more than a nod to a previous game's thrilling finale. There is so much more to say, but that would spoil things. And I mean, this is this one moment where, oh, and then later on when, I mean, you just gotta play it. If I hadn't played Uncharted 4, I would pick this game up and be blown away. If this was any other series other than Uncharted, they could only hope to reach the emotional heights and edge of your seat action. I've just come to expect more from Uncharted than merely great. Uncharted The Lost Legacy is a cinematic joy that bursts with all of the action and complex character development that Naughty Dog is just so good at. Uncharted The Lost Legacy is like going on a holiday with your partner to somewhere you used to go with your ex. I mean, it's fun and it's different enough, but you can't shake the feeling you've been here before with someone else. Uncharted The Lost Legacy is a must play. Uncharted The Lost Legacy is okay. It's a great okay, but it's still just okay.